Yep. My help is threatening to quit on me. So it's getting warm. We unloaded half a wagon last night and we're doing more than half last night. And we're doing the other bit today. And we got a thousand bales in here now. When we're done, it should be a thousand. So I plug this thing in. What's your strategy? I don't have a strategy. I'm just doing what, what we've always done. Okay. This is no strategy. Zero strategy. Okay. I'm taking off the bottom bales so I can move the track. Like that, I won't have to like pick up the bales and move them upwards onto the lift. I can push them down. Yeah, but they get steeper now, so you can't put them, they can't ride on the rail, you gotta have them right between. Yeah, that's still better than pushing them up onto another row. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's out as far as it goes, so it's... It should work okay. There's a lot of teeth are broken on that elevator, so... See anything down here? There's one tooth, three in a row, there's one. It's supposed to be two, like this one here, up here. What is it? Yeah, that one. Okay, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna run it. Yeah, go ahead. Heavy one. That's gonna stay right, right there. Permanent home. Okay. Yeah. So we're at a thousand, over a thousand bales in here now because there was 50 left over from last year in that back corner, way in the back. I got them piled up right to the light up there. I mean, you can't even see the light anymore. So. And the door to throw them down is right in that dark corner right there. So all that stuff will go. That way, that we get to the old bales from last year, use them all up, and then I try not to touch this new hay until all the old hay's gone. I tell you, it's hard on the shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna put my gloves back on. One of my fingers to the bone. Look at that. at the end of the tunnel. 
I'll put one in here. I'll push it down. Gotta lift that elevator off the wagon. And then we're done. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not hard. It's easy. Yeah, it is. Easy peasy. No, it's not easy. No such thing as hard. Everything's easy. Okay, we just finished. So the uh, uh, there's eight bales on the ground. That we're gonna feed them over the next couple of days. Figured it'll just save us, you know, bringing them up here and then throwing them back down anyway. But I'm going to cover them. We had to get this done this morning because it's supposed to rain this afternoon. It's uh, July 23rd, 2020. So we just pulled the elevator in here. I didn't think we'd get it in. My plan was to feed all these bales over the next week or so. And then pull it in. But we got it in. So I'm going to leave this fan on low. I don't know how we could have done it without this fan. And then... Uh, a little bit of air come in here and then it sure helps keep your, at least you get a little bit of a break when you stand here so yeah hey hey season 2022 is complete that is hard Hard going, boy. And, uh, yeah, we had extra room because I could have piled a whole bunch up in here. And there's a bit of room on the left. But we had, yeah, we had enough room. I could have gone a little higher here. But, and that's where the door is. We got to throw it down in there. I got to move a bunch of this junk, these shelves. And, Shaves and buggy wheels. Yeah, there's lots of room over here. We could have put another 20, 25 bales uh, right there. So, what I might do is it cools off. I might put one row of these up higher, and then we're gonna leave two. I I try to leave two rows of hay on the floor all winter. So that acts like insulation. You know, it's not a, it's not straw, but it's pretty good hay. And then. Uh, I'll put some in front of the door when we when we close it. And we got you know, two, three months before winter, so before it even gets cool. And that's how we do our hay. I'll leave that fan run for if it rains this afternoon, I'll come out and unplug it, but uh, it'll stay on as long as it's sunny and warm like this. Just get a little air circulating in here. There's a good uh, vent on the roof here, right there, where all the bees' nests are. But still, when you get up on top of these bales, and you're standing on here, your head is up in the heat. It, it gets hot about the last four feet, meter and a half from the peak. So, If you do this at night, the best time is to do it at night. We would have unloaded this at night, but it's supposed to rain, like I said, starting at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Chance of shower, so you do not want your hay getting wet. So I'm going to stack those eight bales up and put a tarp on them. You know, if they get a bit of da moisture on them, as long as you feed them today, they'd be fine, but they can go moldy. So you don't want to be giving moldy hay to horses. So that's why it's all up in here in the hay loft. Yeah, I'm glad it's done. I'm gonna go 
have a shower now and uh, drive my son to a birthday party. Yeah, AC, that's not, not my wagon. The guy that sells us the hay, he owns all the wagons. That's the fifth wagon. Uh, the first three were uh, what they call thrown bales. They just the bale thrower throws them into a great great big basket. It's a wagon just like that, but it's got rails all around the side, so they're all in there crisscross and upside down. And so the first three wagons had 200, and, no total of just under 500, 475. And these these two wagons here had about 260, over 260 each, roughly. Total of between the two of them was four five twenty five. So we're at the thousand even, give or take a few bales. And then we had, like I said, in the corner over here, on the back wall, which you can't boss can't even see. We're talking like seven or eight rows back there. There's a you can't even see the back wall. There's a uh, last year's hay. There's about fifty bales there, forty to fifty bales. So we moved them all from the far corner over here. I like to have them right near the door. And then we'll use those. I'll make a, I'll just eat my way in that way. And we'll be feeding those until up till probably end of September, October. And then uh, all the old hay from last year will be used up. And then this is all this year's hay. So. Yeah, it's nice hay. Yeah, thanks for watching.